me get this camera right here, right? It's right. There we go. It's right. Good morning, good morning to everyone. <clears throat> Good morning. God bless you all. We hope you're having a wonderful morning. And Lord, of course, it's a wonderful day because if we're alive and breathing, it's a great day in the Lord. Amen. We're thanking God for his grace and mercy. Are you on silent set or what? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to pull up on my phone. There it is. Okie doke. I got it up. Amen. Right. Good morning, Sister Deborah. To God be the glory. Blessing to everyone who are uh, viewing us on today and the Word of God. Amen. So we thank God for His grace and we thank God for His mercy. To God be the glory. Um, it is. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day um, to be in the land of the living, and you know a lot of times we, even when we think about it, and we look at it and all the crazy stuff that's going on in the world. Uh, but you know the thing about it is that um, when you think uh, the things that happen, uh, one of the things what the Lord tells us in John sixteen and thirty three. And um, Jesus said, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. But in the world, you should have tribulation. But be, he said, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer, everybody. Even those that's viewing us on today and those that have logged on, be of good cheer. Because Jesus said, he have overcome the world. Amen. And how do we overcome the world is with the word of God. Amen. Um, a lot of things and the thing that's going on and, you know, I, I know that we don't like it and um, thing that's happening and, and all this crazy stuff and chaos and, you know, uh, racism and, and all this. And But, uh, you know, like I said earlier, this too not only will pass, but God is going to deal with every situation that looks ugly. Amen. He even deal with the one that looks good. So, you know, we just want to give a few people a chance, more time to log on. And we thank God for his grace and his mercy on today. To God be the glory. We, we bless the Lord for all of you joining us on today. This is a good day um, that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, and I know, uh, you know, you, you mentioned, you know, things that are happening and, you know, just right here. I know several cities have experienced a lot of chaos and riots, mm -hmm. you know, protesters and then, you know, some rioters. But, um, you know, it's, it's it, you're filled with a lot of emotions and, you know, and I just try to pause for a minute before responding to some things, you know, because mm -hmm. um, there's a lot that's going on. There's a lot that's happening. And, um, and you know, I, I, I was looking back at the, um, or remembering this, this daily scripture that came out yesterday. And it's interesting that scripture that came out that said to, um, what was it? To, to be angry and sin not. Mm-hmm. And it was so on, yeah. it's so on time. It's so, it, I'm just so grateful for the word of God and how relevant the word is. It is. How real the word is, is. How the word speaks to us and communicates with us. How, and this is how God communicates with his people is mm -hmm. through his word. One, well, one way is through his word. Amen. But then, it, you know, that not knowing, I wasn't aware that, you know, there were going to be some protests going on today and, or yesterday, I should say. Mm -hmm. And, but look at how that scripture mm -hmm. spoke, you, you know, to help prepare us. Yes. For such a time for, as yeah, this. To help prepare us for every day. Amen. You know, because every day there's 
Because evil's always going to be among us. Amen. It's Amen. always going to be here on this earth. And there's until <laughs> until the earth is no more. Mm-hmm. But then to help us to prepare for some, some things, mm-hmm. yeah, we have to stay in the word of God. And that scripture just made me think some mm-hmm. more about how we we have the right to be angry. Yes. Because God has given us that emotion. Um, yeah, we have every right. But it's what we do with it. Mm-hmm. How we use it. How we exercise it. Yeah. Amen. So, we, you, you, you know, and we don't have to respond quickly to everything. We don't mm-hmm. have to, or I should say, react. We want to respond to things. Mm-hmm. And, and, and better yet, be at a place where we can be prepared for it before before a lot of things happen we can be mm-hmm. prepared and ready for some things prepared and equipped to deal with it mm-hmm. just like the word of god we stay we we study the word of god get that word in us have a relationship with jesus christ so <laughs> that um we can be prepared when things come about amen when it, trials come about then the word is there to feed us and to guide us yes, and right. lead us yeah, and it's it's one of those things where um, <laughs> you know we we think about the the um, thing that's going on in you know America, the world, and um, and you know I don't want to get ahead of myself, so I'll share that with you later as we go forth in the Word of Are God. Are you gonna remember? Uh, yes, ma'am. I got it written out. Right okay. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I got it written out right here. But uh, one of the things is you know is just the fact that when we think about um, all this um, segregation and thing that we've overcome, our mom, our, their dad, and sisters and brothers, and, you know, um, just the thing that they went through back in the days, our grandmother, our mom, mom, and just, um, you know, in this younger generation is saying enough is enough. And I was sharing with you last night, what they're doing is help preparing the, the stage for our grandkids' kids because this stuff, I'm telling you, we, God is saying, thank you, Holy Spirit, God is saying we must and we shall and we should get along with one another. And and, and the thing about it is that, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'll share this later because it blessed me when the Lord said this, what he said to me earlier this morning about what he wants me to just share with the viewers because we we got to do better. And when I said we, I'm talking about black, white, Chinese, Philippine, Mexican. It doesn't matter. This thing is, 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 is not about race. It's about human being. It's about humanity. That's what it's all about. It's about us coming together. I mean, it's crazy. How can one... As in, you know, you, you put on the, 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 the uniform you're supposed to protect as an officer, not kill, protect. Yes, I'm angry, but you know what? Better yet, I'm going to sit back in the same way God dealt with things in the past. He's going to deal with it in the future. But we're going to continue to love people regardless. We don't like their action. We don't like their action, but we can love them in spite of, because John 3, 16 say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So we thank God, you know, as we go forth into the world, I guarantee you it's going to bless you on today that you can share this video and share it with someone else and that others can be a part of this. But we thank God for each and every one of you. Good morning, Sister Sorrell, First Lady Sorrell, Miss Deborah, Miss Valerie, um, um, LaVon. Uh, good thank morning you. to yeah. all of good you. Morning. Yolanda, God bless you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Miss Courtney. Good morning. God mm-hmm. bless all of you for yes. just taking the time out because um, as I was telling my wife, we'll see what God said. Um, not so much rushing going back into the building, but we'll see what God say in the next upcoming weeks. Um, I'm, I'm getting 
slowly but surely a peace about this amen so um we just want y'all to also be in prayer um for us also and we we bless the lord good morning um miss palmer vivian all the way from texas god bless you amen she said good morning first lady yeah good morning <laughs> Amen. Amen. I so pray that all is well with everyone that is tuning in today. Amen. As well. Yes. Yes. And we, we pray that all is well. And uh, um, we got a special treat for you today. Amen. We got a special treat. So tell your sister, tell your brother, tell everybody, get on, come on. But we got something special and different that we're going to do today. And it's going to it's going to bless me. <laughs> She's looking at me like. <laughs> Okay. Does something else happen? <laughs> yes. We I'm excited with this special treat that we're gonna do today. It's gonna be something not only different, but it's gonna bless you. So we're gonna go ahead and go right into the word of God on today and that you can share this video and let everybody know. Say, come, come, come. We because it's gonna be something special, something blessing that's gonna bless. The hearts of the people on today, especially after all this crazy with the pandemic. How many of you know that, you know, we're talking about the virus that went on, the um, the pandemic, or the coronavirus. There is another pandemic that's going on. It's a racial pandemic. Oh, my God. It's racism. That's That pandemic is bigger than anything else. That's a big pandemic. And this is where we as body of believers coming together, not only pray, but we got to pray. And when we speak the word, we got to believe what God said, this too will shall pass. All right, we're going to get into the word of God. Amen. Amen. We, we're going to move on because. Before you go straight into the word, <laughs> you know, it just. You know, Woo, Jesus. You know, Hallelujah. We still mm. have to address that's a big pandemic what we see that's mm. happening you know we we have to address this and i don't want you know i don't want anyone to to, to, to think that we're just overlooking no ma'am we what's can't. happening because can't. there's no way no that anyone no can just overlook and think that things are going to be the same that it we can't can, that we could just roll back into yes. life as usual you know not i i because especially for those, and I think I said this, I don't know who I was speaking with, or I said it on the phone, or maybe I said this last week, or maybe it was in Bible study I said this. Because, you know, I think about especially those of us mothers that have sons. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking at my son right now, and I'm grateful that he's at this table with us. Glad I'm you're grateful. Us. Amen. <laughs> to have my my child with us and you know every mother can't say that and i'm just so i think my, my heart my heart just goes out to them and you know and i just pray for pray for our young men and not and now it's not just the young men but it's it's every every black female every black male especially black male you know when 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 my son leaves out of this house and my husband i I can't, I, I, I used to be at the point where I'm sitting on like pins and needles and I'm worried and all of this, but I just thank God that I have a relationship with him and his mm, word come on now. that comforts me, Amen. that that gives me a peace Amen. that surpasses all understanding. All understanding. So, Amen. I'm, uh, but, but at the same time, we have to be realistic. Amen. We Amen. have to be realistic to this world that we live in. We're still a part of this world. We're not in the world, but we're still a part of it. Amen. We have to live in this world. Amen. But we 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 believe and and put our faith in God, Amen. not in not in um, the police officers, not in the government, mm. not any man. This mm. is why we can't because God is our protector. Mm. He's our source. My Lord. He's our covering. He's mm. the covering over my home. Yes, he is. He's the covering over my children, over my, my family. Mm. So, um, you know, my this is where my heart is with, um, especially you know, with with us praying and thinking of our of our sons. My Lord, because it could have hit any of our any, homes. Any, any. The, the things that are happening now could have hit any of our homes. So this is why, I my 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 heart is with us. As, as people of God, for us to stay on our post and not yes. take this, not take this lightly, and not take life for granted, mm. and the fact that God has given us 
these young men. God wow. has given us men in our families, in our homes. He's allowed us to birth men. My Lord. To birth these hmm. men so that they could, and, and for us to be stewards, hmm. good stewards over Jesus. their lives. Glory. Speak the word hmm. over their lives. Speak the word on That they not just be here and just exist, but hmm. that they make a difference in this community, in hmm. our homes, in our communities, hmm. and in our, in our, in our, in our in in our, in our country, the marketplace, amen. Yeah, wherever they go, wherever. that they can make a difference and amen. draw mankind amen. Amen. unto unto Jesus Christ. Amen. And, amen. Um, and yeah, you know, and I, I understand. You know, I was talking to my daughter. I understand. I can. I don't understand it completely because I didn't grow up in a certain time. Mm -hmm. But we, as 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 their elders. Mm -hmm. We have to be there to help them guide this energy, this this anger. Yes. Help talk them into talk it them. and understand. And not a look, not egging them on, not contributing to it, Taking to the them anger, to the Bible. but That's helping it. them to understand Amen. that 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 God is there, that God sees and He understands oh, yes. what's going on. He's aware of all of it. He this. is a but very well aware. But we must be there. Yes. And, and to help give them some wisdom and some My guidance Lord. in this. Mm. Because they are angry. They have a right to be angry. Yes. We have a right to be angry. But we have to use those of us that believe the word of God and trust God, mm. then let's use we, we may not be able to get out there mm. and physically do some things, but as they're um out there protesting. Mm. Let us pray for them that they would be able to use their energy in a, a positive way. Amen. You know, we can protest, but what are we going to do after the protest? Take it to the poll and, and What vote. are we going to do yes, after sir. that? got to go vote. So Amen. We, like you said, we have to be better. Yes. We, I have to be better. Yes. You have to be Amen. better. Let's start with us. Amen. Amen. So that takes us to, you know, we, we're going to do official um, <laughs> opening as, you know, like I said, they're gonna say, yeah, we want to um, open up and we've already opened up. Good morning, um, my sister, Martha. God bless you. Good morning. Um, we want to go ahead and open up and not only open up, but we want to open up with Song 91. If you have your Bible, turn with me to Song 91. We're going to read that passage of Scripture, Song 91. And then we're going to continue to keep moving, keep grooving, keep going, because we got a special treat for you today. <laughs> you laughing. We do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not my cake and ice cream. That's my weakness. But uh, we got a special treat. So we thank God. Good morning, my brother. Uh, Donnell, God bless you, Deep. God bless you. Oh, my God. So we, we just bless the Lord. Psalm 91, as we move on. In the Word of God, Psalm 91, and this is Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, Pentecost Sunday. Amen. This is when the, the, the Holy Ghost would fall upon those in the upper room in Acts chapter 2. But anyway, Psalm 91, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the northern pestilence. He should cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angel charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hand, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion, the adder, the young lion, and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life will I satisfy him 
and show him my salvation. It's all about him. It's all about him. It's all about Jesus. It's all about H-I-M, not H-Y-M. This is not a H-Y-M hymn book that we sing him out. It is a H-I-M from Genesis to Revelation. It is about Jesus Christ. Amen. That's why he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. It is all about Jesus. Amen. It's all about Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. We give God Amen. praises. Hallelujah. Amen. It's all about Jesus. It's all about him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Every road leads and points to him. Without him, we can do nothing. Without him, we are nothing without Jesus. That's why God saw a dying sign, a world that was going under, but he sent forth the son, Jesus. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory is all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God. I'm going to pause right there. Mm. As I said, we got a special treat for you. Amen. Special treat. Amen. Special Amen. treat. Amen. You know, um, like I said, we bless the Lord and we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Um, just to give the viewers, uh, there are different ways if they want to give as far as tithe and offering. There's the three different ways that you want to share. Then we're going to go right into the word of God. Amen. Okay. So, um, yeah, thank God that we have different ways that we can give. Um, so if you want to, if, if God has landed on your heart to sow seeds um, in this ministry, through this ministry, you can give by um, our traditional way. The usual way is by mail, and you can send a check to P.O. Box 544, and that's Goose Creek, South Carolina, zip code 29445. That's P.O. Box 544, Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. And if you want to give by PayPal, you will use my email address, and that is jlmiddleton633 at yahoo.com. jlmiddleton633 at yahoo.com if you want to give through PayPal. If you want to give through Givelify, you can um, use that platform, but then you will um, search under pastor's name, Pastor Samuel Middleton, or Kingdom Empowerment Ministries. That's Kingdom Empowerment Ministries or Pastor Samuel Middleton if you want to give through Givelify. Okay. 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 Yep. Amen. Wow, you said that like you 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 got that all memorized. That's a blessing. Yeah. Amen. I thank God for that. Cause <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we bless the Lord for his grace and his mercy. Oh my God. We we thank God for all that he has done and still is to do. We give God all the praise and all the honor we give God glory hallelujah because I'm I'm telling you glory hallelujah I'm thankful and I'm grateful as we go into the word of God on today um, like I said we got a special treat amen yo truly you doing the word today <laughs> ah I'm gonna try to sit back <laughs> No, look. The platform is all yours, dear. I'm gonna sit back. Well, Amen. one thing I'm just looking at the comments. There's a young lady that's asking um, if we use Cash App. Um, I don't. We don't have Cash App set up for the church for Kingdom Empowerment Ministries. But if you want to um, sow a seed into Pastor's life, you certainly can do that through. Um, he has Cash App, Cash App for him, and um, you use. What's your? Do you know your Cash App? Um, it's dollar sign. Um, I don't know it right <laughs> off. <laughs> we'll I don't know it behind. We'll, 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 we'll put it up there. We'll put, she's <laughs> she. God bless you, Miss Palmer. She's right. A uh, classmate of ours. She's right okay. from Van, South Carolina, but oh, she's wonderful. a member of the Christian House of Prayer. Our Father in the Faith, beloved oh, Bishop okay. Nate Holcomb okay. and Pastor Valerie Holcomb. Amen. Okay. She's right from Van, South Carolina. God bless wonderful. you for. Um, just charming in on us on today, and God bless you. But we'll get that information to you, even if I got to message it to you, um, Miss mm -hmm. Palmer. God yeah. bless you. Blessing to you. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. We we thank God for um, faithful givers, and um, it's as Bishop would always say. Bishop would always tell us this: God don't need your money. God is trying to get money to you, and he always used an individual, which is, he used, don't clock up the pipe. He uses an individual to continue to be a blessing to you. 
Amen. And then too, you know, on, on that note, you know, I had to learn that the money wasn't mine. Amen. <laughs> because I I personally thought that um You got me sweating and I ain't preaching. <laughs> It's all yours today. She's but, she's uh, driving this train today. I'm gonna sit back, y'all. But anyway, what was I? You made me forget what I was saying. About oh, the money. But about money, about tithing, because I had to learn that first of all, the money did not. It, God allowed me to earn money. That mm. money wasn't mine. Amen. But I needed to learn to trust God. It was about my a matter of trusting Him and having faith in Him. And um, I wanted to hold on to that money, and because I saw certain things, and I'm like, I'm not giving my money. To certain organizations are mm -hmm. I felt that and it was me I felt that certain things um, that I should give a certain amount and they sh the, the the church shouldn't ask for any more but it's That's a revelation of a different once yeah. we learn Amen. I had to learn that that money Amen. was not mine and then once I once the Lord was leading me to give mm -hmm. to, um, give I had to learn that once it left my hands, I was no longer responsible for that. But my job was to be praying over that and, and to be led by God. So. Amen. Amen. Oh. Yeah. Pastor's trying to do something here. All He's right. messing with stuff. Let's go. Get this train rolling. <laughs> Unstoppable. Amen. Well, Amen. You know, before I speak another word, and because I dare not come before God's people without... Amen without praying. So if you will all just pray with me for a moment. So Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift up your name. We magnify you. We just thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy, God. We thank you for your love. Amen. We thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, God. We thank you that you are the great I am. There's no one else like you, God. So we choose to worship you in spirit and truth, God. Yes. When everything, when it, when the world seems to be chaotic, God. My Lord. When it looks one way, God. When it looks like there's no end to trouble, God. Huh. And chaos. We can turn to you. We can shift our focus to you. Yes. And remember what your word says, God. Thank you, Remember Lord. to stand on your word because it is your word that, that keeps us, God. Uh -huh. It is your word that gives us peace of mind and comfort, God. Thank you, It Lord. is your word that sustains us, God. Yes. So, Lord, we choose to stand on your word and trust you, God, because there's nothing that we can do without you, God. Uh -huh. There's no... We, we can't live without you. We can't breathe without you. There's nothing that we can literally do without you, God. So this is why we choose to stand on your word, God. Even in our tears, in our heartache, in our hurt, in our pains, God, we still turn to you, God. Yes. We want to stand on your word, God. We thank you that we can come to you, God, when we're angry, when we're when we're frustrated, God, when we're in pain, when, when there's tribulation going even in our emotions, God, when, when we have doubt, God, we can still come to you, God. And you don't love us any differently, God. You still love us, God, unconditionally, God. When we have moments of doubt, God, when we go back and forth, God, you still love us, God, yes. unconditionally, God. So how can we not serve you? Thank how you. can we not trust you when you will not change on us, God? You will not fail us, God. When man fails us, you are still there. You are always there, God. You are a God that says you will never leave us or forsake us, God. So, Lord, this is why we choose to trust you, yes, God. Yes. We choose to come to you, God, Thank in you. the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Hallelujah, God. When there is no rest, God, you are our rest, God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are our refuge, God. You are our strong tower, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're our shield. You <clears throat> are our buckler, God. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Hallelujah, you, Jesus. God. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being mm. almighty, all powerful, God. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. <coughs> 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For protecting us, for watching over us day and night, God. Day and night. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, God, that, that when we're worrying, God, we can put our trust and our focus on you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And there is no worry, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Father, for who you are. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. 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 Thank hallelujah. you, Lord Jesus. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy. You are worthy of our praises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is God not good to us? Amen. Is God not good to us Amen. still? Hallelujah. Yes, he is. In spite of Thank you, Lord glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. His goodness doesn't stop. His mercy doesn't Amen. stop. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the midst of the pandemic, God is still good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the midst of the riots, yes. God is still good. He's awesome. In the midst of what we have seen, hallelujah. Yes. He's good. God is still good. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <coughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now I just mm. have to remember what he said. <laughs> ah, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's enough to shout. That's hallelujah. enough to give him praise. Hallelujah. That's enough to dance. And hallelujah. You, glory to your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. You Thank know, you, Lord. God, he had me to do some studying. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And I'm not about to go <laughs> through all of what he has given me. Hallelujah. But just to give you what he wants for you at this time Amen. and this season and right now. And I understand that, you know, this is, this is Pentecost Sunday, but God didn't have me to go there today. He didn't have me to go there. Mm. He had me to go to, he, 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 he used the words rethink, 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 wow. <laughs> to rethink, recreate, Rethink, recreate. But it was amazing. Somebody you know, text that. Rethink and recreate. But he didn't say and recreate. Recreate. Mm -hmm. He just said rethink. Rethink. Recreate. Recreate. That's exactly the way that's he gave it. it to me. So that's the way I have to give it to you. Amen. I'm charged Amen. to give it to you just like that. To rethink. Mm -hmm. To recreate. Amen. Recreate. And I said, well, Lord, I don't understand what this is, what it's all about. But and it was weeks ago he gave me this, and he took me back to this when Pastor said, "This is your Sunday to preach." I forgot all about the fifth Sunday <laughs> because God, you know, in this 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 time of this this shut in or this uh, semi stay at home order, because we're we're e starting to ease back out now. Mm -hmm. But he said to rethink, to recreate. Mm -hmm. And he said, go to Noah. I want you to look at Noah. And before I talk any more about Noah, I want you to understand that in no way am I saying that we're that, that this pandemic is happening because God is judging the world. That is not what he's saying to me. Amen. That is not what he Amen. has said. Amen. He said to look at Noah. My Lord. In the ark. Mm. And as they come out of the ark. Oh, glory. My God. He said to look at that. In the house, out the house. <laughs> I like the way you put that. Okay, go ahead. I like the way. <laughs> go ahead, Pat. I know you're excited. Yes. I know you. But look, he says, go to Genesis. Go to Genesis chapter 8. Mm -hmm. And we, we're all familiar about the flood. Amen. And that's not what God says to focus on right now. Not the flood. But in Genesis chapter 8, um, I'm just going to read verses 13 through 17. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to read from the... Um, you want me to read it? Yeah. Do that. Thank you, sir. Genesis chapter 8, verses 13 through 18, right? 13 through 17. Through 17. And it came to pass in the 601st year and the first month and the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark. And look, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. Verse 14, and in the second month, on the seventh, 
7 and 20th day of the month was the earth dry. And God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife and thy sons and thy son's wife with thee. Verse 17, Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, both of fowls and of cattle and of every creeping Ooh, creeping, creeping, creeping thing that mm. creepeth upon the earth that they may breathe abundantly in the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. Yes. Amen. That they may be fruitful and multiply. Well, first of all, that they may breathe abundantly mm -hmm. in the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. You know, is that <clears throat> I thought that I was pretty familiar mm -hmm. with the story about the flood. Or the, the scriptures about the flood. When I took my time, when God had me to study it and just take my time and look at this and go back and read starting, you know, the, the um, when you look at um, verse 17 of chapter 7, Genesis chapter 7, if you mm -hmm. begin there, chapter 17, I mean, chapter 7, mm -hmm. verse 17, and read the entire chapter of verse 8. It's mm -hmm. an amazing story. You know, and I, I was hesitant. My heart was hesitant to go and read about the flood because I'm like, Lord, I don't know if I want to read about the flood. Mm -hmm. And but when I looked at it and I, I did my research, it's actually the theme of the chapter is actually about renewal, wow. renewal and rest. It's not about doom and gloom, just doom and gloom, because can you imagine what it must have been like for Noah and his family to be in that ark. Wow. And when that flood, when the rain started, it rained for 40 days and for 40 nights. Mm. 40 days and 40 nights. Wow. And to hear, can you imagine to hear what it must have been like to hear the screams and the pleas of, mm -hmm. of the people that were being drowned? Mm. And the, the animals? Yes. Er, everything. Everything was destroyed. Mm. And can you imagine what it must have felt like to be in that place and to hear that? Mm -hmm. And then to be in that organ, you can't, and to feel helpless. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I think about the, 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 our black men, you know, that I've, I've happened to hear some of these people talk about the, the, the brutality and the, 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 the way the officers, the police officers have been treating black men, especially, especially the black men. And to see our black men get on, 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 on these platforms, on mm. social media, and to see them cry, to see their anger, wow. to see their hurt and their yes. pain, and yes. to feel helpless. Yes. And you mm. can't do, to feel like you can't do anything. Well, what is it that we can do? But God says, rethink, rethink mm -hmm. to rethink and to recreate. Mm. There's some there's so much that we can do. There's so My much God. that God has put into our hands that we can do. But if we just stop and think, yes. to rethink, Come on now. think outside of yourself. Mm. My let Lord. God mm. be, let your mind be renewed in Jesus Christ. Come on now. Mm. Let your mind be renewed. You know, he mm. says to be your mind to be renewed in Jesus Christ. We have to submit. Submit to the will of God. All right. Submit to Jesus Christ My so Lord. that he can allow you Come to on. think differently. Ah, because glory. so far, mm. you know, I'll, I'll, the things that we have been thinking, mm. the things that we have been creating and doing, if we're doing it without the, without the, the help of Jesus Christ, then it's something that we're doing wrong. We're doing wrong. We Amen. must be doing something wrong. We need to rethink and redo something. My Lord, rethink. We need to do. rethink. We need to think, <clears throat> ponder, consider, mm -hmm. consider our ways. And I'm not just talking to believers, but I'm talking to to non-believers, and I'm talking mainly to myself. My Lord, what is it that I'm doing? What is it that I can do? And this is what we need to do. We need to consider our ways. Yes. We can't help someone else. Come on now. Without helping ourselves. My first. Lord. How dare we go outside of our mm. homes mm. if we cannot help our own? My Lord. And I, you know, mm. I was talking to my cousin um, Saturday, Friday. I believe it was Friday. And you know, I had this conversation with her, and she says, you know. 
I can't help, you know, she wants to have these, um, she, she, she's such a helper. She loves to help those that she sees that suffering that are, are, are going through hard times. She's willing to take people into her own homes and, and, and help them however she can. But she said, I cannot help them without helping my very own. Amen. She left her home. My she Lord. left her state and came down to South Carolina to make sure that her very own siblings were doing okay. Mm. She knows that one is suffering, but she's doing what she can do first to make sure that 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 she's doing her part first mm -hmm. in helping them, helping Amen. him, Amen. helping Amen. her siblings. Amen. So, <clears throat> and this is what we need to stop and do, because see, we can, we want to help the community. We want to see things better, but can we be better? Can, are we making sure that, that our very own is better? Are Amen. we, are we giving them the word of God? Are we giving them wisdom? Are we giving them good advice? Yes. What advice are we giving them? My Lord. What is it that we're doing to help them? My Lord. So we, we hmm. can't go there first without doing what we need to do in our homes first. All right. You're in the book. You're in the book. So when I looked at. Amen. At this when I did my study and mm -hmm. looked at the fact that chapter eight was more of about, it was, it wasn't about the flood. It was more about the, the renewal and the rest that only we can have with Jesus Christ. My <clears throat> Lord. Amen. We can only Amen. have that with Jesus. Christ. Amen. Yeah, you, you can physically do your rest. We can go on retreats and do all these other, go on vacations. and wow. all. But how long does that last? All right. Temporary. How Amen. long does that last? And even in in, 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 in in the word of God, he says to renew your mind. Renew your mind. And, and it's a constant thing. We have to do it over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. It's a daily process. A daily it's process. A pro daily pro we don't do it one time and don't come Amen. back to it. Amen. Because see, with a vacation, you can go on a vacation, what, maybe every six months, once a year. We plan yeah. usually yeah. for once a year. But we can't renew our minds once a year. Mm. Man, we'll be a wreck if we wait for once a year. <laughs> wow, wow. We will be a mess if we wait for once a year. Wow. And that reminds me of before Jesus Christ, um, it was the priest. He he stood before and um, what? He gave the sacrifices. Um, oh, I can't think of it. It'll come back to me. Uh, in in, in the, um, the Old Testament, in, the, in, in Leviticus. Mm -hmm. where um, the sacrifices were done for atonement once a year. Mm -hmm. It was done once a year. But no longer, thank God that through Jesus Christ, Amen. he died for our sins. He's, he, was the atonement. he is the atonement Amen. for our sins Amen. once and for all. Amen. One time and for all. Wow. And thank God for that. But back to this flood. <laughs> Come on now. Bring back it to on. the flood. It, it rained for Bring 40 days and 40 nights. But the thing is, the flood actually was for a hundred. The flood was on the earth for 150 days, mm -hmm. for 150 days. They were on the ark. They were in the ark, not on the ark, excuse me, but they were in the ark for an entire over a year. Wow. That blew my mind. I, like I said, I <laughs> thought that I knew. And here again, it's my thinking. This is why we need to rethink. This is why I understand that God says to rethink, recreate. Mm -hmm. And you can't recreate without rethinking. You got to rethink some things first. So I, I, I saw that. I said, oh, my God. They were in that ark for over a year. Mm -hmm. For it says a year and 26 days. Wow. They were in the ark. Can, so can you imagine? Here we are on a... a a semi, uh, this is my, these Temporary. Are my words. This is a semi stay at home order. Temporary. Because we're easing back out yes. of our homes, surely, but slowly, mm. and, and trying to do it as safe as we can. As safe as we can. Mm -hmm. But Noah and his family had to stay in the ark for a year, over a year wow. with animals. Wow. So can you imagine being, can you imagine? Can you imagine being in the house? You can't, he wasn't even, he didn't even open the window until mm. a year. Wow. 
he did not That's open that window stuff. until Amen. a year. The day that he opened the window, that was a year. Wow. Hmm. That was a year. So he stayed in there for, so I was getting ready to ask, can you stay in the house with me for a whole year? <laughs> not go out? <laughs> I got to get out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> can we stay uh, put for a year? Not, I can stay, yeah, with you, but it's just the fact that I love going out. That's right. that's the thing. I got to get out. <laughs> you sure? Okay, but when you go when you go out, I'm going with you. You want to take me out with you? So, so you would have to be with me for a whole year. Amen. Praise the Lord, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but... They had to stay in there for a year. Wow. And you're talking about being with family. And I know it, 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 it's, it's different for us. It's different for some people to have to. And every, it is. Those of us that, that are having to stay in the house, in the homes, in a way, and isolated from, from our family and friends. And look, Noah and his family, they had to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. there was no one else. Whereas we can make phone calls and we can communicate with, with our relatives. Text, FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, we can do And Thank God for Zoom mm -hmm. and, and, and FaceTime that we can do this. But can you imagine, we can't even, I can't begin to imagine what it must be like to be in there for a whole year. And look, and whatever is in, in the house, this is what you have to eat. Mm. There's no going out wow. and, and getting other things to eat. There are no choices. What The choice is what's in the house. Mm. My Lord. Your choices are what's in the house. Mm. So what, 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 I, I can't, I just want you all to think about what it must have been like to be in place, be in one place for over a year with the same person day in and day out. It's a long time. And I'm, my heart goes out to those that there are people that are literally stuck in a place where they have no choice, but they're in, in, and it's hard for them where there's abuse and it's hard for them. And they, they have seen this before we have seen it. Mm. They have been going through it more than what we have been. And those that are being, re, being abused year after year, not day after day, but month after month and year after year. So my heart goes out to those that are suffering mm. and those that are suffering day in and day out, and they can't go and see their loved ones that have been um, hit by this, 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 this virus. And those that are, that are losing family members that are dropping right before their very eyes. So my heart goes out to people. So, but, but I can say after reading chapter eight of Genesis, it gives you hope. Oh. It gives you hope because even after being in that, 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 that ark for over a year, but it says in chapter eight and verse one, and this is what I love. And this gives me hope. Mm. This gives us hope. After being on that, it says that the flood peaked. It prevailed over the earth. In um, verse 24 of chapter um, 7, it says that the, the, the waters prevailed upon the earth. So over the earth uh, at, at 150 days. So can you imagine at 150 days? Mm -hmm. The water, the water cup, you can see that... The water just covered the entire earth. So this was nothing that had never been seen before. But it says in verse 1 of chapter 8, it says, And God remembered Noah mm. and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters uh, as assuaged. And that word mean that word means that the waters receded. Mm -hmm. So when I looked at verse one, I asked the question, and I said, God, what do you mean that God remembered Noah? He remember so did God forget? Mm. 
And I said, well, God, if God is not a God that forgets, because God knows all. He knows all. He knows Amen. all. He sees all. He's the one that sent Noah into the ark. So how was it possible that he forgot him? Mm. He didn't forget him. He remembered. And he said, when I, I looked at the word remember, remember is to pay attention, mm. to pay attention, to fulfill a promise or act on behalf of, of somebody. And we can look at that. And he can you look, um, read Hebrew chapter Look at Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 17. Hebrews 10 and 17. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 17. Yes. Ten, Hebrews chapter 10, 10 verse 17. 17. It said, and their sins and iniquities, iniquities, Will I remember no more? Mm. I'm going to read it again. And their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. Because remember, you know, I, my, my focus again is not about the flood, but it's about during it and afterwards. But remember, the flood happened because of the, the sin of the people, because of their wickedness. And this is, but God said, I, He remembered. He remembered Noah and every living thing. So he remembered the promise to Noah. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the promise, he made a covenant with Noah. Covenant, amen. And that's in um, chapter, cha well, if you go back and look at chapter 6, yeah, go back and look at chapter 6 of Genesis in verse 18. Mm -hmm. 18 and 19, he says, but, but with thee I, will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons wives with thee and of every living thing of all flesh two of every sort um shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with mm -hmm. thee they shall be male and female um and then when i look at verse seven i'm excuse me chapter seven and verse one and it says and the lord said unto noah come thou and all thy house into the ark for thee have I seen righteousness before me in this generation. Mm. So God saw Noah's faith. Amen, right. He saw Noah's faith. And he remembered the promise that he made, or uh, the covenant that he made with Noah. That he would keep him and his family, him and his household alive. Mm. So this is what he remembered after a hundred and don't you know in 150 days if you calculate that I have my little note over here <laughs> that that 150 days that it covered the earth that was five months Wow five months that the waters were over the earth my Lord that mm. it just sat there over the earth for five my months God. Mm. so but and how long have we been in a house <laughs> About three months now. Well, we've been in and out too. Yeah. That's the and thing. if we really have not been yeah. in a true shut in, my lord, it's not a true shut in. But let's, if we could just, I, I, my prayer is that we have learned yeah. to take advantage of the time that God time. has allowed us Amen. in. Yes. This semi shut in. Ah, glory. For my our, God. for our own mm. safety. It's my for our God. own safety. Yes. Semi and you know, and all of the things that the, the talks that have been going around saying that it's a man created um, disease and, 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 and we're blaming this person that, you know, my mind cannot go there. My Lord. We cannot focus. We cannot afford to waste the time and focus on that. We have to think about what God wants for us. We have to think about our future, our children's future. We have to think about what God wants for them and for us. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your time and energy on it. Yeah, I'm not saying to ignore it. Yeah, we deal with it, but how do we deal with it? Take it to God. Ah, glory. Take it to God. My Lord. <coughs> My Lord. Because the word said that he is concerned about the things that concern yes, us. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> My Lord. Mm. My so Lord. when we look at God remembering 
the promises. Yeah, God remembered Noah. He didn't forget about Noah. He didn't forget about us. He Amen. didn't forget about you. He Amen. didn't forget about you in the shadow. He didn't forget about the ones that are suffering, that, mm. that are going through heartache and trials and tribulations. No, God said that he would never leave us or Come forsake on us. Never. So how can he forget us? Ah, my God. Mm. And he doesn't look at us. And what I love about this, when he, when he remembered Noah, he doesn't look at us. He doesn't hold our sins against us. He doesn't treat us as sinners. And that made me think of mm. the thief on the cross when he said to Jesus, remember me. Wow. Remember, remember. me. Remember. And it's not that God forgot about him. My Lord. So is it sinners and saints? He does not forget about My us. My God. He sees us. He's, yes. a, he's well aware of what is happening and what Thank is going you, on. So he remembered him. He remembered him. So when I look at this, the rest of this, that is so much in verse one. And it says that God made a wind to pass over the earth. Mm. He made a wind. Oh, my God. Mm. He, if God can make a wind, my can Lord. he not make a way for mm. us in ah, everything? Glory. Oh, my God. If he makes a wind, what else will he make for us? My Lord, my God. What else will he? Yes. Come on now. So he mm. made a wind to pass over the waters. And the waters receded. Ah, my God. Mm. He made the wind to pass over the earth, and the waters receded. Come You're on. talking about waters that have flooded the entire earth. My Lord. Mm. Waters that flooded the entire earth, but God created. God made a wind. To... He told the wind. Pentecost. Mm. Glory. Oh, my God. If he can t look. Breathe. Mm. And God says My to Lord. rethink, to recreate, to mm. rethink and to recreate. My Lord. Now, if, 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 if God is, he has created us. So if, if we were created in his image, mm. can we not speak things to ah. recreate? Oh, oh my God. Glory. To recreate Ooh. our environment. Jesus. My Lord. You got to the speak. power. Mm. My so Lord. he made a win to, and I'm thinking about the. The, the fact of how he he caused the the the, mm. the, the um um the red sea to depart mm. how he created a path My in Lord. the midst of the red sea mm. for his people to go through My Lord. so what if he did that with the wind Oh my God! With his words and with the wind, mm. what can we do? Ah, what a mighty as his God created, we serve. Glory. As his created beings, my Lord, what more can we ah, do? Ah, what a mighty God we serve! We can mm. do more than just protest. Mm. Mm. We can do more than just create a riot, my Lord. Cause look, I, mm. again, I, I, mm. I can feel the anger and the frustration and the hurt my lord but use it for your own use it for your good my lord use it for the good of our people yes don't Ooh. use it to burn fire look. glory and hallelujah who was it that i was someone i was listening to i can't think of it right now but i'll i'll tell you later and most of you have probably it was the gentleman um the rapper killer mike i don't know much about killer mike i only know the name because my daughter my daughter says so my children are familiar with him and he's more than just a rapper, from what I understand. He's an activist. Mm. And My he Lord. said, and that, it was so powerful what he said. He said, why burn down your own community? Mm. Why burn down your own home? What do you have left after you burn it down? Be you angry, sin not. That's it. Use mm. that energy to recreate. Mm. Use that energy to recreate. But what I love about and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, you got me sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> My Lord. Mm. I, I'm, I'm just, oh, I'm just Holy overwhelmed. Ghost. Holy Ghost. Because I'm telling Holy you, when I, when, when I got up here this morning, when I had ah. the, when Pastor said it was my mm. Sunday to preach, mm. I said, Lord, I, I was Lord. actually, you just leave. <laughs> I was actually thinking of telling him, Pastor, you do it, because I can't do it. Because I, my heart was so full of some, I was feeling some kind of way. But God. I was feeling some kind of way. I was filled with all sorts of emotions but that God. I couldn't even begin to articulate. Mm. My Lord. My Lord. But when I saw that man get up there and cry, to see a grown man cry, mm. 
But lest you, and he didn't want to come. I did not want to come and speak the word of God over the people. But God said, there is hope. God is a God of hope. Yes, he is. Restoration. He's a God of ah, hope and glory. restoration. Thank but you, renewal, renewal Thank and rest. You, Jesus. And what I love about it, after, the, after being on that flood for 150 days, Thank you, God Jesus. gave the ah, ark glory. rest. It said that the ark rested yes. on the mountains. Mm. The ark rested the ark rested on the on the on the mountains mm. of um of Ar Ararat. I mm. believe that whatever. If I'm not pronouncing it correctly, uh, yeah, uh, text me about it. <laughs> take take it up. Take it up with me later. Amen. I don't mind. Amen. Wow. But on the mountains <clears throat> of Ararat, that's where the 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 the, the ark rested somewhere else. Mm. It wasn't where he, where they were, cause look, that ark started on the ground. All right. But when it rested, it rested on the mountains mm. of Ararat. So what you're and, saying, you might be down now, but God is gonna take you well, up. Yeah, let it. But oh when we God. trust, when we look, mm. if we trust and do and move according ah, to the word of God. There you go. According to his leading, yes, according to his yes. Holy Spirit, mm. let our thinking mm. take us up. Oh, let us God. be elevated in our thinking. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. By the word of God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And when he gives you rest, mm. you should be elevated. Oh my God. Your thinking should be elevated. Oh, yeah. You should be higher if you are if you continue to mm. trust God, yes. if you allow him to renew on, your now. thinking, come on. if you allow him to take you there, My but Lord. remain where you are. All right. Remain where you are. Amen. Enjoy where he has you. Because when, when I look at, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm having a hot flash here. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. But Ooh, in that ark. That's the Holy Ghost. Pentecost. In that ark, mm. you don't see. It doesn't speak of, of Noah doing any complaining. You don't see, a, as a matter of fact, you don't even see where there's any communication where God is speaking to Noah the entire year wow. in that ark. It could have been smelling. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Can you Ooh. imagine being in there? But mm. there, Noah has, there's no indication mm. of him complaining. Mm. Of him saying, Lord, when are you going to get me out of this? Oh, my God. Lord, when is this going to come to a rest? Jesus. But he Trust. he waited patiently. Yes. Uh, it appears that mm -hmm. he waited patiently. My Lord. Mm. But he trusted God. Even if he had some sort of complaint or if he was restless, he must have taken it up with God. There was some communicate that mm. he he If... I look at it like this, and this is this is me. This is Jackie. Ooh. He's in there in, in right there in the entire time, yes. but he's not saying anything to God yes. about wanting to get out. When we're gonna get out? Cause come on, if it's flooded out there, where yeah. are you going? No, I was just I was laughing because when you said that, no one took a drink afterward after he got yeah. out. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> God, God, cool didn't, Noah. <laughs> God didn't um God didn't punish him for it. Exactly. <laughs> for a whole year. Yes. A whole year. So come on, he was, why he was do doing we it wanna, in moderation though. But why do we want to rush out of something? My Lord. When God and I'm not just mm. talking about the shutting, but when mm. God has you in a place for mm. a reason, a place where he has um um there's another word if, if God if there's a season. Mm -hmm. That God has you to be secluded for some reason. Why do we want to rush out of that? Because wow. where are you going? Noah was in that ark for a whole year, over mm. a year. Excuse me. So where was he going to go? There was wow. no. Need. So where are? And I think about this semi shut in that we're in. Where are we going? Mm. Where are we going? Be God still. has us in for a reason. He Amen. has us in to, to remain safe wow. for a reason. Wow. So let's not rush out. Cause and let me stay in the house. So when mm. God stay in the house of God, Amen. stay in the, the, the place where God has you so that you can have your covenant and your protection so that when you rest, when he takes you to a place of rest, ask yourself, 
Are you elevated? Mm. Is your thinking elevated? Mm. Is your spirit man elevated? Ah, yeah. glory, Hallelujah. Glory. Can you see? Your, is ah, your glory. sight ah, elevated? Ah, 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 glory. Is your hearing elevated? Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hiya. Is your language elevated? Oh, my God. Jude 1 Is your life elevated? Amen. Mm. At that place of rest. First John 4 4. Because mm. when I looked at, and mm. you know, my Lord. When I looked at that, uh, I'll get back to that later. When I did, I'll, I'll mm. tell you another time. Mm. When I look at that place where, where at that mountain top, it's a secluded, it's a mm. high land. Oh. My Lord, Jesus, <clears throat> glory, hallelujah. The ark rested on the mountains of Ararat. It's a sacred land. It's a high land, a high and almost inaccessible mm. mountain, which rises majestically. Mm. That's what I found out about mm. that mountain. Wow. It's all full of inf it's so much information, but that's the tidbit of it. My Lord. <clears throat> It's a sacred land. So when you're come, when you're at that place of rest, it should be a sacred place. Amen. It should be a high land. Amen. You shouldn't be. You should be better than where you are. All right. You shouldn't. You should be different. My Lord. You should be better. Come on. Mm. So at the after 150 days and look, finally, <clears throat> the R stops moving. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that place of rest was directed by God because Noah wasn't steering the ark. My it Lord. says that that God directed that place of rest. God is the navigator. So, but check this out. I'm gonna run through this bit real quickly. So he waits forty days mm -hmm. after it rests. He waits forty days. Then he sends out the raven. Mm -hmm. And then he waits, and we all know about all of that, the, the, the details about that. I'm not going to get into the details of that. Mm -hmm. But then he waits another week mm -hmm. and sends out the dove. Mm -hmm. And that, does find, that dove finds no rest. My Lord. So he waits another week. The dove comes back. He waits another week and sends the dove out again. This time it comes back with um, uh, an olive, olive. leaf. <clears throat> So that indicates that some plants are growing and there's some, there's some fresh life out Amen. there. So you would think that Noah, my thinking, most I, most people think like me, or some people think like me, I would be thinking, oh, good, we can open this door and we can get out, we can go. <laughs> but no, he waits another week. After wow. that, that, that dove comes back, he sends the dove out a third time mm -hmm. after a week, and the dove doesn't return. So that indicates that the water has dried up. It's dried up. Noah still doesn't go out. Mm. He waits again and he opens the window. He opens the window. And again, when he opens this window, this is a year. Mm. He doesn't open the window until a year. So can you imagine what it must look like after a year? Wow. You're in a place now that you're not familiar with. My Lord. It looks different. A new thing. Mm. You're in a new place. Ah, a new thing. You, Ooh. this is a, you're getting ready to go out into a new norm. Mm. So mm. Noah, Jesus, he looks out there and you know, and now I'm thinking about when we've seen hurricanes and stuff, when we've gone through hurricanes and tornadoes and we open up our doors, I'll never forget when we went through hurricane, um, um, what was the hurricane? Hugo. Yes. I started who can, to who can forget that. Hugo? <laughs> but Hurricane Hugo. Mm -hmm. When we opened the doors. 89. To see what the land looked like. To see what our, the street looked like. Mm. It was so different than what we've ever seen from any rainstorm or anything like that. But it was different. And you were almost hesitant to walk out. You didn't want to walk out. Because <clears throat> I'll never forget, it was me and my mom and my, my grandmother and my daughter and my cousin. My cousin Kendrick, he remembers all about it. He slept through the entire thing. Mm -hmm. But then, Noah, <clears throat> he still does not go out. He stays there and he waits until he hears from God. Amen. Amen. But look, but then here, there's no indication that he's heard from God the entire time. Well, in the in the ark, but now before he makes a move out there, he still remains on the ark and waits for God 
to give him the say, the okay to go out, which Amen. was 26 days later. Wow. After he opened the window. My Lord. Mm. And then, can you imagine? Can you imagine what it would be like to walk out for the first time after a year and 26 days? I'm telling you, when I was, when my ankle was broken, I, in the day that it was, I was in a cast for six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. When they took the cast off of my ankle, my Lord, I you was so somebody. ready. My Lord. I was so ready to get up and walk. I got up off of the... I got up off of that um, that, I was that ready bed. For to walk too. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to walk without any assistance. Ooh, praise the Lord! But when <laughs> I put my foot mm. on the floor, this was the first time my foot felt the floor in six to eight weeks. Mm. And actually, it was a little bit longer than that because before the surgery and everything, I I couldn't put my foot on the ground. When I put the my foot on that ground. My head started spinning. Mm. The room started spinning because my foot hadn't touched the floor in six to over six to eight weeks. Wow! Imagine no. So imagine what it was like when that door was mm. opened. Mm -hmm. But now that I think back, when I my, when my my foot first hit the floor, I don't remember saying thank you, God. But now when, when I look at Noah, when they came out of the ark, it says the first thing that he did was he he built an altar. Mm, my God. To worship the Lord. Ah, my God. So when we come up out of this, mm, thank you, Lord. Can we send up a worship unto Hallelujah. the Lord? Glory, 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 glory. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can we come up out of a place where we begin to read? Because see, it's, and it's not until we get to that place of worship mm -hmm. where we can begin to rethink and recreate. My Lord, thank you, Lord. To re rethink, to recreate. Jesus, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. So Noah and his son. So Noah built an altar. Let's see. In, in verse, um, you read, uh, what, what was it? You read 13 through 17? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So and Noah went forth in, in verse 18 of chapter 8. And Noah went forth and his sons and his wife and his son's wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, every fowl and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds went forth out of the ark. And Noah in verse 20 mm. of chapter 8. My Lord. And Noah built build an, an altar unto the Lord. And took out every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt orphans on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet, sweet savor. savior. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore mm. of man's sake. Wow. For man's sake. For wow. the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more every living thing as I have done. In wow. verse 22. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, seed. and cold and heat mm. and summer and winter, and day and night shall and not cease. cease. So is this not to give us hope? Hope, yes, ma'am. That in spite of everything that we see, my Lord, what, as long as this earth remains, there will be seed time, mm. there will be harvest. harvest. Come there on. will be cold, ah, there will be heat, there will Lord. be summer, mm. and there will be winter, my and Lord. there will be day, and there will be night. My so Lord. every day I get a chance to, mm. I will lift up the name of the Lord, I will give him worship, I will yes. praise his holy name, because he did not have to allow me to be here to see another day. My Lord. And he is, he is still, if he is still faithful to give us day, to give us night, mm -hmm. to give us heat, to give us cold. Yes. to give us summer, to give us uh, um, winter, if he is faithful to do that, is he not faithful? My Lord, yes he is. Glory. To keep his created being. God is a keeper. Hallelujah. He keeps his word. My Lord. Mm. So there, there is so much more that God has shown me, but I dare, I have gone over my time, and I thank you yes. so much for thank being you, patient with thank me you. 
as God has allowed me to speak a word into your life and into the into my this Lord. community. So uh, my prayer mm. is that you will come out of this victorious. Again. We are victorious. Amen. We are victorious. God says that we are victorious. Not a victim, but victorious. So let us come out of this. My Lord. Being renewed with hope mm. in Jesus Christ. He is our hope. Wow. He's the only way yes. out of this. Yes. And and let him, let him give us the thought. Give mm. us the imagination. Let him mm. show us what we are to do now. Wow. Because we cannot mm. go out of this doing the same, the same thing that thing. we have done. Oh my Even God. in our churches, in mm. our homes, my we Lord. cannot be the same. My Lord. Mm. We cannot. My Lord. Wow. Last but not least, let me say this. When you said 26 days, I just want to say this and we're going to close. 26 days. God was showing me two and six. Two is the number of agreement. Six represent man. Five is grace. Three is the Trinity. Two is agreement. Can two walk together unless it be in agreement? Okay. But here it is. Six is the number of man. Let me say this. If God can allow the animals to come together and they are all on under one roof, then what is the problem with humans? Mm. What is the problem with humans? We're going to rest right there. We one, just... one other thing. <laughs> Look at verse 9. Chapter 1 of verse 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, mm. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish, replenish. the earth. My Lord. Mm. So let us be fruitful. Mm. Multiply. Multiply. Multiply our thinking. Multiply our thoughts. Multiply when we recreate. Look, there's some things that are that have been created that we need. God is allowing us yes. to recreate. My Lord. Mm. And, to, and to replenish this earth. To replenish. Wow. We have to do our part in replenishing, not destroying, but replenishing. Amen. I love that. Not we don't destroying. we don't we don't like the way things are done. Well, d recreate. Use the use what God strategize. Use what God has given strategize, us. strategize. We thank God. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we've gone over our time. We <laughs> thank God there's more, but there will be after church. Give us uh we're gonna go right into after church probably um this let us pray. But before I pray, I just wanna give this opportunity to the viewers out there. Um, even as you share this video there, thank you for such a powerful, powerful, awesome word. God Amen. God, God bless you. Good. Amen. We always oh, do this God. together, but I thank God for allowing you to, be, the Lord, Holy Spirit, to use you to do what you do best is teach the word, bring forth the word, live the word, and let them know that it's all about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we just bless God for each and every one of you for your time. Um, you, we, we thank God for what he has done. But nevertheless... The preaching, the teaching, all this is good, but ain't nothing more than one soul. One soul. One soul if it's just one. Jesus said this is where he would leave the 99 mm -hmm. and go behind just that one. Yes. He would leave the 99 and go behind that one. So if it's one that you have not received Jesus as Lord of and of and in your life, you can receive him today. Romans 10, verse 9 and 10 said, If thou confess with thy mouth mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus, that God raised him from the dead, you believe in your heart that you will and you shall be saved. It's just yes. that simple. It's just that simple. If you believe that, just pray after me. Say, Lord, Lord I'm, a I'm a sinner, saved by grace. Saved by grace. Come into my heart, God. Today, Lord, I receive you, Jesus, into my heart. The old is passed away and renewed anew. As of this day, Lord, I receive you into my heart. Jesus, I love you. I am a sinner, Lord, saved by grace. Lord, I thank you that you saved me on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. It's just Hallelujah. that simple, not so much of a long prayer. You, but Jesus. if you repeat that prayer, God has come into your heart 
as of this day, mm. and you are a new person, new creature in Christ, new thing Hallelujah. that God is doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Anything else, dear? No, I, that, no. <laughs> we'll save it for um, after church. Yeah. Give us about 10 minutes. Um, we're going to go ahead and do after church. Uh, give us about 10 minutes. We'll load back on in about <clears throat> 10 minutes. And we thank God for your time. We thank God most of all for you being yeah. patient and yeah. bless the Lord. As you share this video, it can be a blessing to someone else. God bless you. See you back in about 10 minutes, okay? Amen. Love you all. God bless you.